This is Sundry Sports for Tuesday, July 7th. Yes, July 7th. Starting with Cowboys Wire from USA Today. Cowboys Dontari Poe to Jerry Jones. We need to know we have your support. Add Dontari Poe to the growing list of Dallas Cowboys players wondering aloud where their employer stands when it comes to their efforts to push racial division. Who the fuck is Dontari Poe? To push back against systemic racism in the United States. No such thing. The veteran defensive tackle. Oh, veteran defensive tackle. Yet I've never heard his name before. Signed back in March, has heard from new head coach Mike McCarthy and new position coach Jim Tom Sula. But according to a story from Bleacher Report's Kaylin Collar, the former first-round draft pick says the silence from team owner Jerry Jones is noticeable. Such arrogance. You've got to have everybody on your side. Even if it's just in word. Haven't talked to Jerry at all. Poe says in the Bleacher Report piece. I hope he comes out and shows his support. You are an owner of an NFL team. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. The majority of this team are these people that are being oppressed. Oh my god. These people that are being oppressed on this very team. Making millions of dollars. Playing football in front of millions of people. So oppressive. So even if you are not going to be in the forefront, we need to know we have your support in that type of way. No, you don't. Such arrogance. God damn. Jones has been conspicuously quiet. It's only conspicuous because everybody keeps talking about it. In the wake of the numerous rallies in cities across the country and ongoing discussions at every level of society following the murder of George Floyd. Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott put it wasn't murder. Who the fuck wrote this? At most it was negligent manslaughter or whatever. It wasn't murder. Murder is intentional. The dude did not mean to kill George Floyd. He just did not value life. He didn't pay attention or something. Whatever. He didn't mean to kill him. Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott pledged $1 million in support of police training, education, and advocacy. Running back Ezekiel Elliott. Where does that money go exactly? Because I've heard tell of a bunch of celebrities who donated to other sorts of causes, such as bailing out protesters, a.k.a. rioters, and... A very small percentage of their money has been used so far. So where exactly does this money go? Oh, it's just pledged. So what, he's trying to figure out where to put it? Running back Ezekiel Elliott appeared in a video address to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell demanding an official league response. Team notables Amari Cooper, Demarcus Ware. Demarcus Ware. He's not a cowboy anymore. Nate Newton. Emmett Smith, oh, okay, Michael Irvin, Demarcus Lawrence, and Gerald McCoy have all publicly spoken out or brought attention to efforts to initiatives for change. But despite one video alluding to years' worth of conversations between the team and local judges, police chiefs, and attorneys that reflects the organization's statement on social justice and a few social media posts from team accounts, there has been no direct word from the outspoken owner of America's team on this issue that affects every corner of America. Oh, does it really? For Poe, the issue became personal in 2017. As a member of the Atlanta Falcons that season, Poe took a knee during the national anthem before the team's Week 3 game. He says he received clear support from Atlanta head coach Dan Quinn. The following two years with the Carolina Panthers, Poe served on the team's player impact committee. This offseason, Poe tells Bleacher Report that he's been at the Cowboys facility almost every day. As per Collar, 
Poe says McCarthy and Tom Sula both voiced their support for the black community and the fight against systemic racism during Zoom meetings with players. Oh, so they both, they both took the time to kiss your ass, but nothing from Jones. His silence definitely means a lot because in any other situation, he will have something to say about most things, Poe is quoted as saying. I was once a proponent of doing stuff behind closed doors and doing what I need to do not out in the forefront, so hopefully he's doing that, but who knows what he is doing. Personally, I would hope that he comes out and says, okay, I am willing to help, I am willing to fight, and I am willing to be with y'all. I don't suppose we could do that whole thing where if your player chooses to kneel in protest, then you can choose to not put them on the field. How about that? You don't... To, to demand to have everybody voice their support for you is just so arrogant. I keep saying arrogant. Fucking arrogant. I read that yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Cowboys to hold 2020 training camp at home instead of Ox Oxnard. I thought that was determined already. 